Welcome to Sailing Ruby Rose from Saigon Shipyard. This is hull one. Things I want you to notice. Anti-foul is done. The blue paint is coming off. And as James said to me this morning when I came into the office, go and look at the boat. It is looking beautiful. This is a month before launch. Lots to show you. Keep watching. So I've been told by James, hello, hello, to go down and Go downstairs, take a really good look without going for a button. He said, go down the stairs and take a look at. So let me just show you this, because apparently we almost have a functioning heads. Ta-da! Right, let me just walk you through this, because it does look amazing. So what have we got? Things that you're going to notice here. Firstly, a lot of the blue stuff has been peeled off. They are now getting to the point where there's no more kind of structural stuff to do that could scratch the work surface. So let's just show you what we've got. This gives you a really, really good idea of what is going on in this head. We have the shower store. Actually, the first video I ever watched of Nicky and Jason's was of him testing out showers in RVs. Not quite sure why I've got that in my head. Nonetheless, this is where we are. So this is the shower store. Shower pump and sump is in. So we now have this, which is almost complete. Shower head, complete. This lovely little shelving unit for bottles of whatever. Complete. The seat for sitting in inclement weather. Complete. Toilet complete. Heads. Not sure what's going to go there, whether it's plant machinery or otherwise. I think water maker. But also, now, bar the sink and the taps, we have a work surface. Now, our work surface is not this. I personally did not want this. I wanted, I wanted Corian, and I will talk to James about the Corian and the weight, and we will get a much greater idea of weight as we get closer to the finish of ours. And then we've got this opening hatch here. Honestly, it's a really nice space. We used to have a bathroom in London that was smaller than this. Moving forward, there's not a lot being done here because I asked James and he gave me the heads up. But again, all these windows in, windows, 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 opening hatches, our master cabin, well actually not our master cabin, but whole one's master cabin. But now that all this is finished, now that all this woodworking has finished, bar the drawers going in, which have been made off site, they are now just getting ready. And if you remember from last time, this was all in green. Now it's not in green. This is all gonna be covered up with paneling. But the templating is finished. They are now just going to final finish. I wonder if I can go up onto the bed without getting a shoeing. James did tell me that everything has now been glued in place. So hopefully I won't be destroying things. Let me just get that out of my back pocket. Oh, for the first time in months, actually, I can sit in the space, you know, where the bed is going to be in the master hull. But the last time I looked at this, there was nothing to really see. There was just a, this fiberglass hole. But now what I can show you, these ash faced shelves. Again, there'll be PowerPoints, PowerPoints, places to securely stow tablets. Kindles. Tablets are important because there is a system with the B&G that allows us to integrate our tablet. So literally I can get out of bed and look at where the navigation is using my tablet. Again, access on both sides. If you remember what we did in 2019, when we came to kind of like discuss what was important to us in a boat, one thing that was super important was being able to get out of bed without disturbing your partner. That is important for watches. This paneling, beautiful. Really happy with this. And again, let me just pan you around while I'm laying in bed, drinking my matcha latte. This view is going to be nice, by the way. I don't think I've ever drunk a matcha latte in my life. Yeah, nice, nice. Really, really starting to come together. You know, actually, I've been on this boat so often now, so many times. Actually, it's 11 months almost to the day since I first saw her. And it is... Yeah, really nice to be here. Really nice to see this so damn close to being finished. Mm. Mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do you want to come and see some more of the boat? Yeah, let's take a walk across and see the deck and also the starboard hull first. Just before I leave the hull, there is something I just want to show you. I do pick up on little details. For us, it is about little details. And those little details kind of give you a nod to the big details. Now, something I do want to show you. I've just picked up on this. Sinloy and Sinloy, am I okay? Just the quality of joinery. Think back to those reviews in 2019. Joinery, joinery, joinery. Mitered corners. Making sure that you are not just like making Homer Simpson spice rack. Pick up a hammer. Mm. Look at this. 
Now, honestly, the last time I saw joinery that good on a boat was, do you know what? I'd actually say that is better than Ruby Rose. The only time I've seen joinery that's better that I picked up on it was a Discovery catamaran on a catamaran. That is bloody beautiful. No, really, really, really beautiful. Steamed, bent to 90 degrees, perfectly finished. It, it is really amazing. Wow. Ooh, 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 suits you. The joinery here is epic. Nice to see that in Vietnam they use exactly the same method that I use, which is a coat hanger, uh, to, to mouse. <laughs> So yeah, so mousing, uh, obviously the wiring through for the light. They are still templating that section, but these are all the final um, areas for for the headliners. So yeah, so we've got five guys here. What else can I see? This, all beautiful and finished. And I really do get a sense of space here. Okay, come on. Starboard hole. So what do we got here? Starboard hole, not a lot's gone on in here. They're still templating this cabinetry here. And now you can see the facing. This whole ash facing for the heads. Beautiful, lovely, lovely curved. Look at the curve, look at the curve. Hello, Em. Hello, there you go. I'm going to take two foot. I'm going to film two foot. And then, I'm OK. I'm going to do something. Lao. They always laugh because I speak Vietnamese to them, they're like, what the <laughs> Veritable hive of activity. Yeah, James, you were right, there's a lot going on. Okay, let me go forward. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, let me just spin this around. These windows are all in and sealed now. I want you to kind of like, I'm going to try and do this with the drone later, but yeah, just the the whole sweeping vista, it's all, now that the blue stuff is starting to come off, you can really get an idea of what this boat is going to look like. The blue stuff is very distracting. I'll take you over to spin around and show you Ruby Rose. This blue masking is very, very distracting. Now that they're peeling this all off, you can really start to see the small, beautiful little details that they put onto this boat. It's these sweeping lines, the interview with Miriong, I'm not sure if you've seen it yet, but she talks about how she wanted the stance of this boat to be muscular. It's like a muscle man. <laughs> the muscle man, okay. Yeah. To look like a, like a bodybuilder with like little stocky forearms. I thought, honestly, girl, you've been on the crack pipe a little bit too harsh, but she's right. She's stocky looking and I like it. Like robust. She doesn't have the kind of like the long hulls that you would find on Ultramail. But this, sturdy. And that's what I want to feel. I want to feel safe in this. And this boat looks safe and sturdy. And honestly, this, I like this. Yeah, I love this. Absolutely love it. Other things to show you, and I'll show you later, the new trifold door. That is down there. Again, small details. Now that all this blue has been peeled off, turning blocks or spinning gear, turning blocks, attachment points. This, small details, beautiful little things. This is the trifold door that's already ready to be installed all the hinges, all the hardware in place, and we are going to be seeing this installed in next episode. But this, ready to install, super sturdy, very similar actually to the 1260 and the 1160. So, for those of you who want to see the install for the trifold door, that will be coming up in a future episode. I now want to talk to you, just to, I want to answer a patron question. We do get a lot of patron questions. Two of them today, um, I'm going to do one which actually is a kind of a half question, and actually one which is a a non-technical question. The question is from Robin Wessel, asks about inspection. How easy is it to inspect the hatches? How easy is it to inspect the engine, the mechanical systems and everything? This is what I will be looking at to make sure that inspection lights are in place, that they don't cast shadows, that essentially where in my workshop, in our workshop, there are two lights so you don't cast shadows. So inspecting machinery inspecting your water maker i want to make sure that it is lit properly and that there is access and there are no snag points because if you remember with ruby rose changing the impeller you needed a very small hand that actually articulated in a way that human hands don't articulate because they built and baked a design floor into the engine compartment where access was so limited this is going to be different so lighting inspection yes i will be looking at it a second question which is about the helm seat someone has asked can you remove one helm seat for greater cockpit space? This is not our remit. Nothing to do with us. This is Seawind's design. To the best of my knowledge, they are. There is no facility to remove one helm. 
that is something for Seawind to discuss. So again, we can only really answer questions that are non-technical. One question we do get asked a lot about, and for obvious reasons, what's going on with Ruby Rose 2? Why do you keep showing Hull 1? The reason is as follows, that Hull 1 is essentially the first boat and therefore needs to be put together far, far faster than Hull 2 so they can test sell this, flash the off it to make sure they've got it sorted out. But let me just spin you and show you something. Yes, this, this, this. So I'm going to show you. Just quick step on board because you've all been asking for it. It is behind over one. Today what they're doing, these are the storage bins, the storage bins for the lines. And they have been obviously held in place there because at the moment what they're doing is actually bonding. I'm not going to disturb these guys. They're bonding the port side one in. So that bond is going in there now? Yes. That's all been bonded and then held in. There's a guy in my port side engine bay. My, my port side engine bay. Not, not whole ones, my steps, holding tanks. And as I sniff deeply the acetone, yeah, this all sounds really nice. So into Ruby Rose 2, lock has been finished. Let me just step up because I don't have a carbon poach roof at the moment. That's all been taken off to be finished. Mr. Khan has just popped up with a sender unit. Good. You can see there's a big difference between two and one. Look at all this blue stuff, how awful it looks. And now look at one where they're polishing the hull. Like he can, I can see his face in that. It looks beautiful. Wow, this is beautiful. Really damn sexy. This not so much sexy. Look at this Kate Winslet look-alike. Sat on my longeron. Yeah, real hive of activity here. So Ruby Rose 2. Mm. Looking good, girl. Looking good. So what do you think? Like a month, a month ago until this boat is launched. She's looking beautiful. Everything that gets peeled off just shows us exactly how stunning she is. The stance of it, as Miriam says, it's like a muscular kind of like a pugilist, a boxer, kind of like going forth to kind of cut through waves. Maybe a bit too flowery, who, who cares? I am super stoked for this. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up. We do really love your comments. So if you have a comment, let us know down below and we will try and answer it. See you all next week.